Yeah. But uh, but I'll tell you this. Um, Theory's mic work since he's gotten rid of that suitcase thing, he's got has been has he, he's take, he's taken a, a a step forward. Like like his promos before, I was like, I, I'm not getting this. You know, I'm not I'm not really compelled by what this guy says, bro. He's a pretty strong talker. Yeah. What what what, what do you think, bro? Cause, cause what I, what because he's still young. I think that kid's only 22 years old. Yeah. Bro, what, yeah. they, what they did with him last week where he was tired of being laughed at, being called kid, this, that. So he snapped. Bro, that should have been his character from day one. Right. right. Then I think they yeah. realized that. And it's like, yeah. oh, this works better. You know, so, but yeah. Bro, here's the problem. He was so strong on last week's show, bro. He killed Dolph Ziggler. He left. He left Seth Rollins going. You know, laying. They made him so strong, and I was like, "Good, bro. That's what he should have been from day one. Not the stupid, goofy selfie business and all that. In the suitcase. You right, know, but, but, right. but Glenn, what do they do the following week? He has a competitive match with Ali." Yeah, I don't. Like, are you freaking kidding me, bro? I, I don't. I don't know what they're doing with with the. <laughs> you know, Wally has been. He's kind of been. Um. Uh. Remember when he was, he was trying to like get fired, or he wanted wanted to leave, wanted them to let him go, and stuff, everything. Bro, they're. they're you know, I, I I wouldn't pass this. You put this past Hunter. But they're like burying this guy every single definitely. week. Definitely. You know, <laughs> so it's like, definitely. he's just getting like. Remember what they did to Lana. Yeah, exactly. He's getting like the he's like getting the Lana yes. treatment. Yeah, we've he, said you know, that exactly. Right. As I'm like, you know, <laughs> so it's like so uh so he goes and wrestles Ali. They do have a competitive match because they're trying to p- protect Ali, but then they're burying him after they're like he's like getting pummeled by everybody, just getting beat up every every show. But it's like I don't I don't know where they're going with that. But if the, if they do come out for something like this for Ali, I was like, okay, I'll give you guys credit because I didn't I didn't see it. But uh, bro, you know you know so, what the you know what the funny thing is. Oh, this is what I was gonna say earlier, bro. The, the, this cracks me up, okay? Because they got so many guys on this roster that are five foot nothing and one hundred and fifty pounds, right? So, bro, during the entire match with Almos and and Gargano, the announcers are saying, "Look, look at the, look at the fight in him. He's resilient. Johnny Gargano will never go down without a fight. Look at him." So, bro, now we get to Ali, and now here's the tagline on Ali: "Look at Ali." He's resilient. He'll never <laughs> yeah, so like okay, bro. So you're gonna put four, five, 150 pound guys on the show, and that's gonna be the story of every single one of them. Yeah. How resilient they like, right. bro. What what what's, what are we doing here, bro? With right. these guys? Yeah. So after the match, Lashley comes to the big screen, told Theory if you want his attention, he has it now, and it's, and basically they they uh they have a they Lashley comes out and then he's. They have a confrontation. Him and Theory have a confrontation here. And both of these guys are heels. Okay, um, so he makes his entrance and he spoke as he walked to the ring and said he was surprised that Theory was still in the ring. He didn't take the first SUV out of town. And Lashley said Theory was looking tough, like he wanted to fight. Lashley says Theory just had to pick up the scraps he left from him. He still couldn't get the job done when he had the money in the bank contract. And Theory said everyone knows that he would be the U.S. champion if it wasn't for Lashley. And Theory said Brock Lesnar kicked Lashley's ass, and then Rollins beat Lashley for the U.S. title. Theory said Lashley wanted redemption, couldn't get the job done at Crown Jewel. Uh, Theory said Lashley and Rollins think they're stepping in the ring with the same kid that he was previously in. Said he walked out of Survivor Series with the U.S. title. Uh, there was nothing that Lashley or Rollins could do about it. And Lashley told Theory he didn't think he'd walk out of Raw tonight. He entered the ring, and Theory threw punches at him, and, and Lashley battled back. They rolled a ringside. Lashley tossed Theory into the timekeeper's area and reached over the barricade to grab him. Hit, but uh, Theory hit him with a chair. Lashley no sold us, and Theory ran away. And then afterwards, <laughs> Ashley comes back through the curtain, and uh, Austin Theory shoves Ali, who was back there selling, into Lashley. Lashley, for some or uh, Ali, for some inexplicable reason, shoves Lashley, and Lashley go- takes him and beats him up and put the hurt hurt lock on him and left to play this poor kid. Oh, right? bro, so like, <laughs> oh, bro, here, here's the funniest part, Glenn. You talk about again. I'm, I'm going to say it again. Lazy booking. You talk about lazy booking. So, bro, Bobby is chasing uh, Austin Theory. Bro, as soon as he goes on the other side of the curtain, Ali's just sitting there in a the chair. <laughs> He's right. just sitting, like, are you guys freaking kidding me? Can Bobby, can the pursue not go into a locker room? You know, right. they literally had him sitting in the middle of nowhere 
so they could do that spot, bro. So, so this, uh, I want to read you Powell's uh, POV on this. Yeah. The new and improved theory is a big improvement. I like the way he stood his ground and talked to Lashley rather than backing down in fear. Granted, he ended up running away after Lashley no sold the chair shot, but they still managed to establish the theory he's now a grown man and not the doofus kid who took selfies and sucked up, sucked up to Vince. Meanwhile, Ali just comes off like a punching bag with a hairstyle that doesn't work for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, really, that's all he's I mean, that, that's that's his that's true. Right? So you know, you know this guy, you know Ali, you know Ali went after me online. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I just by that fact alone, the fact that he went after me and called a 61-year-old man a hoe. Right. Bro, I'm telling you, this guy, this kid is probably one of those young kids that think very highly of themselves. They're great wrestlers. They know everything. And, bro, you know that ain't going to fly in the back. Right. So I, I, I guarantee you, bro, that's, that's his attitude in the back.